Welcome to Devote Eclipse. As you watch, pause when told to and allow the clips to prepare your heart for Easter. Have fun! In the Bible, God chooses only one characteristic to sum up His entire person. Love. The Bible says God is love. He is described as many things in Scripture. Merciful, holy, just, but above all, he associates himself with love. The fact that God is a loving God is the hope and foundation of our Christian faith. Because God's love for us drove him to reach out to us whilst we were far away from him in our sin. This is what real love does. It always initiates. Now, for those who don't know, initiates means takes the first step, which means that God's love always takes the first step to restore relationship, despite the cost. In the past two devotee clips, we saw Abraham, a man who didn't know who God was, have God initiate a relationship with him. They were so close, he called Abraham a friend. And the greatest demonstration of God's love was shown in what he did in sending his only son, Jesus, to pay the penalty for our sin on the cross so that we can have a loving, intimate, and personal relationship with Him. There is no greater example of God's love reaching out to a person than in the Apostle Paul. Paul hated Jesus and violently silenced his followers. But one day, Paul, then called Saul, was on his way to imprison Christians in Damascus. Jesus met with his sworn enemy. Paul went from being a persecutor of the church to one of Jesus' most devoted followers. After encountering God's love, Paul's life was radically changed. The wonderful thing about God being love is that he is a God of relationship. In the last devotee clip, we spoke about accepting Jesus' offer of salvation. But it doesn't end there. Jesus' salvation work altered eternity. But we have the tremendous privilege of developing a life-changing relationship with Jesus right now. Just like Paul, we can choose to live in the fullness of God's love every day and let our lives show his love to others. God is love, and that means that our ability to love is a gift that comes directly from His character. When we love others, we are acting most like God, for that is who He is. People may not show us love, or may even treat us badly, but the love of God in us enables us to continue loving them all the same. As we encounter more of God, we are better able to love others. Paul, the Christian hater, wrote the most famous chapter of love. 1 Corinthians 13 says, Love is patient and kind. Love does not envy or even boast. It is not arrogant or rude. It does not insist on its own way. It is not irritable or resentful. It does not rejoice in wrongdoing, but rejoices with the truth. Love bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Love never ends.